The Hobbit was great. Even with the Lord Voldemort. I mean Azog. And Golem with the riddles? That was perfect. Castle Forged. Last video, I showed you some of United Cutlery's Hobbit replicas, including the Staff of Gandalf. Since then, I found out they're not the only ones releasing Gandalf's staff. Weta Workshop is too. There's a link in the description below. Here's their version of Gandalf's staff. These Weta collectibles are made from urethane and cast from molds of the original film weapons. Here's a close-up of Gandalf's rune. But that's not all, they actually have two staffs. Remember this guy? It's Radagast, and he has a staff too. Some of their items are limited editions. These two staffs are limited to a thousand, and both of them are actually coming my way. So stay tuned, I'll show them to you when they get here. But first, here's a few other things on my Weta wish list. They replicated some of Thorin's gear. His key to Erebor in zinc or as a sterling silver pendant. There's also his ring in sterling silver set with a blue sodalite stone, and the pipe of Thorin Oakenshield. They also have Thiele, this guy, his pipe. Both of the pipes, though, are non-functional prop replicas. Pipe in one hand and Thiele's knife in the other. And there are more knives, this time Nori's. Feely's and Nori's knives are both limited to 500. They're not made of steel, they're made of urethane, the same material used for the making of the film props. Next up are Dwalin's axes, which are made exactly the same way, replicating the techniques and artistry used in the films. And Balin's mace is the last of the Weta weapon replicas to date. And that's my news update for today, like if you like. And remember, I don't know when, but sometime next year, the staffs will be here.